Hi. Today I will try to show how to export a music file, a MIDI file and a web file .wav from the keyboard Yamaha PSR S770. Now S770 layout is somewhat similar to S970, S775, S975, the newer model. So let's dig into this. So if you can see here, it's the layout of the screen and we will try to learn how to record a MIDI file into this. We'll just zoom this more so that we can see more. Yeah. Now, if you see here, there will be two sections broadly. The one at the top is song section, which is on the left hand side of the screen. And we will also see, we will also have to see the USB section, which is right on the top in the right hand side. So we will come to that later. But first we will come to this one. So recording a MIDI file. Let's start. Now to start with, if you see, I already have a song right here. It's it's just a song, but this is in a MIDI format. It's if you if you see here, it's written song at the right and top of this one. So yeah, here it's song. So basically what Yamaha tries to say is song stands for MIDI files in the MIDI format. So any song you come across, you know it's in MIDI format. So let's go there. Now to start the recording, there is a very important thing to remember. The thing is, you have to press both the record and the stop button together. If you see the L-shaped brackets, the L and the reverse L right here, it shows that both have to be pressed together. Why? If you don't press the stop button, this MIDI song here, it will not disappear. And the settings will remain when you play something new. So it's absolutely necessary to record a new song. You have to press this stop button along with the record button here. Once you do that, this should go away. So let's try. Yep, did you see here? It's now new song. So this thing worked. So now it's a new song which is going to be recorded. If you don't press that, it will just take the settings of the old song and the new one will not be recorded. The new one has a different style setting and a different voice setting, if you can see here. So it's a different voice setting and a style setting altogether. So this is the style. And we have some voices here. So now let's start this. Now once this is new, you don't need to press both the buttons. Because it will simply not work. See? So you press only one record button and it will start playing once you start your entry in the keyboard section. Let's try that.
Once the song is recorded, you have to press the stop button and then the recording will actually take place. So you will press the stop button. The moment you do so, the screen shows this message. Nothing to worry, it's fine. Now what we need to do is we need to save this either in the USB flash drive or in this keyboard. So let's do that. Press select in this song. So once you do that, it shows this. Now look at this very carefully. There is a preset, there is a user, and there is a USB. So right here on top, you have this tab button. If you press the tab button, it's going to change the tabs for you. So I will press the tab buttons and it goes on to the USB. I'm sorry, user and then to the USB. Now we will be saving this initially to this system and here at the bottom you can see there are some options available. Folder, save, delete, paste, copy, name whatever you want to do with that. Now, the buttons below corresponds to the screen above. So the first row, as you can see here, corresponds to the first row of buttons below. The second row corresponds to the second row of buttons below. I want to save, which is in the second row, so I just press this. It says, new song. So. I just want to change the name, press delete and just write E and then where did the X go? Yeah, here it is. X, E, X. Where did P go? Come on. Yeah, I got the P. So X, E, X, P and let's give it a number. One. So this is experiment one and then I press OK to save. And here you can see this song EXP1. This is the new song which is saved. And how do I know that this is a MIDI file or a WAV file? Simple. Try to press delete over here. Select OK. And do you see the message? It says are you sure you want to delete the exp1 dot mid? So mid dot mid is the extension of a MIDI file. So we know for sure this is the MIDI file we just recorded. Now, if we want to record this in USB here, what do we do? So this is the USB tab. Same thing. The save option is here. We just press the save option. Same name. OK. And it saves. How do we know? It's already in the USB. Here, at the, at the right hand side, you have the USB audio player and the USB button, right on the corner. You press USB, and then you get these options. Don't be frightened. Song, we know, stands for MIDI. Audio is WAV. So song and the, wow. Here we find EXP1, so it's already there in your USB drive. We will delete this and we will try this with a WAV file. Or let us just keep this. Let, let's just keep this. So, we have mastered the MIDI section. Now let's come to the WAV file section. How to save a WAV file? W-A-V. So, this song 
section dealt with dealt with MIDI files. They normally deal with MIDI files. To record a web file to the music file, we need to come here in the right. And here, if you can see, there are two buttons on the top. This is the USB and the USB audio player just beside this. So we need to check on if we have any USB files already. How do we do that? We press the USB button, then we press the audio, not the song. Yeah, there's nothing here. So we'll go to the USB player. So we'll just select and press the USB player if you want to record a web file. So this is the button for USB web. Now here is the interface. So let's just try doing something. We did the same thing um, before. So let's just do something with playing something. Yeah. But before you do so, you have to press the record button here. So press the record button but there is a clue here. Pressing the record button wouldn't work until you also press the play button. So press the play and see here it's saying wait. Once you press the play this wait will ch change into recording. So let's press. Did you see that? Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay for us. And then we press the stop button here. The file is saved as audio 008.wav. Wow. So we know our file is saved. How do we know for sure? Let's press here. Files. Yo. We see here it's audio 008 in USB at the right. So let's press the USB button in the right hand side and let's check if it's really there. We'll go to the audio and yeah we have it. We don't even have to save it because it's automatically being saved over there in the USB flash drive which you have put inside. If you want to copy this to somewhere else or delete this you will come to know that yes this is a web file audio008.wav so yeah you know it so now to check what you have done in song I'm sorry in song we have the exp1 which we created before and in the audio section we have the audio 008 which we created later so this takes care of both the file types thank you